reading is December 20th, 2015. The copy I have, the original poster for my exhibit at the Aberdeen Art Gallery, just surfaced. So I'm going to add this uh, at the very beginning of the uh, footage I uh, took, which is, was previously posted, of the uh, my talking about the old Boyd needed a holiday. There's the old Boyd on the stand with the end bag. There's the whole poster, which didn't unfortunately have a date. A year, it was 1987, 13th June to 4th of July. But actually, that's not the old Boyd drawing, that's a different drawing, but that's okay. Two photographs, I believe these were taken by Aberdeen District Council staff photographer Mike Davidson. This one here. I am indeed working on the old boy needed a holiday. And uh, this looks like the beginning of what became a, uh, kind of a large mixed media work called Scottish Bluebell that had three separate drawings in it that were later mounted on a wood. The whole thing was uh, uh, began self destructing uh, after I uh, kind of interwove uh, um, kind of a ship rope that I picked up on the Aberdeen beach. One of my jogging and cig smoking uh, jaunts, uh, which I did every day. And uh, several years later, it was thrown out into a dumpster in St. Andrews by friends of mine. There, uh, let's see me, there's the uh, old boyd itself, the stuffed golden pheasant of Dave Milnes, and the old boyd drawing in progress. So there you have it. That's me in uh, kind of primeval uh, Paleolithic uh, times uh, from an uncovered ancient papyrus uh, dredged out of the uh, Mediterranean, as it were. Greetings, it is uh, October 23rd, 2015. I just came across two black and white photos that were taken during the uh, time I was working on the uh, old boy that needed a holiday, so I'm going to add this little short footage as a kind of uh, intro to the uh, footage uh, I took uh, last year or whenever it was of the actual drawing itself. There's the old boy on the stand. <clears throat> I see here I didn't remember I did this drawing then. Uh, it's owned by a couple in Connecticut called a brooch for gunboat diplomats, a large 24 by 36 inch size drawing. And uh, <clears throat> I'll see if I can get a video of that from them. And it was not exhibited, exhibited at the uh, Aberdeen Art Gallery during my uh, residency exhibit. Here's a uh, very good photo of <clears throat> the two old boys, me, and the old Boyd. There you have it. On to the uh, earlier footage. A uh, quick overview of my magnum opus artwork from my residency, International Artists in Residence at the Aberdeen Art Gallery in 1987. It's called uh, the Old Boyd, B-O-I-D, spelling needed a holiday. I had lived at uh, 11 Belmont Street in, in town Aberdeen and uh, it was right down the, the street from the uh, Aberdeen Art Gallery. I was there from uh, about April 1st or 2nd through August 30th, 1987. My downstairs neighbor was a Scottish, is a Scottish jeweler. He had a repair shop then. Uh, downstairs to me, I used to visit him uh, several times a week went down to pick up my mail, uh, talk about this, that, and the other, smoke cig cigarettes, and so on, and he had a stuffed golden pheasant, which I uh, asked if I could borrow one day, and he said, sure, I could use a holiday, so I took it upstairs and did these uh, three drawings of it. There's a uh, full profile view. There's kind of a uh, rear end view. There's a uh, profile of the head. 
it had a uh, British Airways uh, end bag on it, a now deceased friend of Dave's, Dave was the jeweler, uh, had worked for British Airlines as a baggage handler. And I, I guess it, it had the zilch written on it. Uh, so during the course of doing these drawings, I decided to make a document about borrowing the old bite and drew this uh, kind of testament here. Do you, Mr. Dave Milne, Esquire, Scottish patriot, lover of quality vice, craftsman, artist, designer, and manufacturer in the ancient and mystical precious metals, gold and silver, occupying the smoky den of intrigue of 11 Belmont near Union, testify that the old boy needed a holiday upstairs at Ken's. Question mark, question mark. If so, please sign here at dotted spots. David M. Milne. Don't sign till you've down two pills. P-I-L-S at check beer. Signed by me, Ken A. Segan, 11th, May 1987. Artist, bumper car enthusiast, specialist in rhetorical brouhaha and related earthly delights. Then I took it around Aberdeen to various places and had a whole lot of different folks sign it. It really ought to be up at the Aberdeen Art Gallery because it's kind of a living document, test, testament, cultural uh, happening to uh, Aberdeen between 1987 and nowadays there were school kids ages 10 or 11 who signed it among others. Let's see, we have the office of the sheriff clerk who signed it uh, top here, and then two uh, staff who had assisted me in getting to see the sheriff clerk signed below there. It looks like, I can't quite make out the names, Dorothy Davidson and Mark O. something. Uh, Looks like a Mackenzie artist in residence there. We have H, looks like E. Ray, the Honorable Lord Provost of uh, Aberdeen, Scotland. I remember being photographed with him. There are some uh, Aberdeen Art Gallery staff of the time. Oh yeah, this is all Aberdeen Art Gallery staff. We've got the um, someone from the Department of Agricultural and Fisheries Security. Uh, someone from Her Majesty's Customs, Sandy Riki, D-A-F-S, whatever that is, Consular General of the uh, Netherlands in Aberdeen, signed here. And uh, we've got the Charged Affairs of the Consulate of Denmark over here. Can't make out that very arty-looking signature here. We've got uh, various folks here, a Buddhist art historian, uh, oh, Art of Francina Irwin was a keeper of art at the time. We have a police officer, David somebody or other. School kids, Jason Archibald and Mark Donald. Now, if they were 10 years old at the time, they would be uh, so like 26, 27 years later, they'd be in their mid to late 30s now. Rachel Wallace of Colquick, her, uh, and uh, I've got others here. I can't quite make out. Someone from Aberdeen Hospital. Um, and uh, here we have others that are assigned with uh, their title and occupation. Photographer, BBC broadcaster, uh, photographer undefined, and so on. Deborah Schultz now uh, lives in London, teaches at uh, Richmond American University. Merritt Fahrenholtz lives in Warsaw. Ross Donald from uh, R&B Music. It's still there a few blocks away. I visited Dick and Bess. It appears to be some sort of uh, Scottish joke. I don't quite recall. Uh, something about the British Transport Police. And then we have uh, more here. Here's more kids. Uh, Sanya and Safa, kid and skateboarder and a horse rider, among others. Uh, Someone from Peacock Printmakers signed there. And uh, anyway, there you have it. It's a splendid piece. Everyone who visits my apartment, my studio loft flat, uh, is always um, dazzled by it and always stops to uh, look at it. So uh, there you have it. The old bird needed a holiday. Greetings, it's October 11th, 2015. And I'm about to play on an old, like, audio cassette tape of that sort. Uh, the um, interview 
which was aired uh, on, the, on an evening in May 1987 uh, while I was international artist in residence at the Aberdeen Art Gallery in Scotland. Um, BBC Two North Scotland journalist uh, Douglas Ness came to my studio flat, which was owned by the uh, Aberdeen Art Gallery and I guess the Aberdeen District Council. It was at 11 Belmont Street, down the uh, street from uh, the Art Gallery, right near uh, Union there, and um, kind of like that main shopping business drag. And uh, a dancer's neighbor of mine was named David Milne. He was a, a he is a jeweler. At the time, he had a jewelry repair shop. And uh, I used to go down and chat with him, listen to music, we both smoked cigs at the time. And he had a stuffed golden pheasant in the, uh, on a stand which a friend of his had given him, which had this, uh, which had a, a British salvo, British salvo, there's a artistic uh, mistake there, artistic license and language, a, a British Airlines uh, end bag. Uh, kind of a card uh, roped around the bird's neck, and I borrowed the drawing. When Douglas Ness came over to interview me, this was what was on my, my drawing table, about maybe two-thirds to three-fourths done. So most of what we talked about had to do with uh, this particular work of art, which has a lot of uh, fantastic history relating to a whole lot of Aberdeen folks, the um, youngest of which were 10 years old at the time, who would now be like 38 the oldest were some seniors who may or may not be with us any longer, 28 years. Here we go. In residence, represented in many collections around the world, Segan draw, produces drawings, prints, and mixed media pieces. Next month, some of the work he's completed during his stay goes on exhibition at the Art Gallery. Douglas Ness has been along to his studio to find out why he decided to come to the Northeast. Well, I come to Scotland. Beautiful country, wonderful people. Lovely Aberdeen, as they say, um, right on the coast. New territory, new turf. Um, exciting place for an artist from America to come to. Have a few beers and see some beautiful scenery. And um, it's a great place to make art for a, a spell here. You hope you'll be inspired that very much so, yeah. Well, I'm standing in front of one of your drawings, and I must admit to me, it's a little confusing. You've got postage stamps on one side, you've got a, a drawing of a stuffed pheasant, more or less in the middle. What's it all about? What it's all about is, uh, this is a document testifying to the fact that Mr. David Milne, my downstairs neighbor, craftsman, artist, designer, jewelry, repairman, loaned me the old boyd. That's what we call it back, that's where I'm from. The old boyd is the, the pheasant here. Now the old boyd was looking at me one day in Dave's shop and I said, I'd really like to draw this, Dave. He said, go for it, Ken, the old boyd could use a holiday. Which became part of the document and of the artwork here. On the left side, I written out a statement stating that David Milne, Scottish patriot, lover of quality, vice, craftsman, and so on, occupying the smoky den of intrigue, the old boy needed a holiday upstairs at Ken's. If so, please sign here at the dad spots. He's signed there, as you can see. And he will be um, paid for with two pills beers. Uh, I'll be getting those later today. That seems to be a Scottish custom. Um, pill, uh, pills and other beers, it's good stuff. So this is really a combination of a passport, a travel document, a ticket, and a check for all some bottles of beer. <laughs> <laughs> you got it exactly, you got it. What's this bit down towards the bottom? You've got witness one, two, three, four, goes all the way up to twelve and more. What's that all about? Well, since this did turn into exactly what you just said it was, I thought it would make it um, legally presentable, especially if we were going to the high court or something, but the Supreme Court in the States if I had to have it, and going back into U.S. Customs, to have witnesses verifying that David Milner did so and so and so and so. So I've been enlisting the support of everyone in the community to put their John Hancock on there. John Hancock had the fanciest, glorious signature on the Declaration of Independence, American Expression, 
And um, so we're going to have some important luminaries or dignitaries in the community as well as people just like you and me sign their name and write what they're what they're into, or what their occupation is, what their title is, uh, however they'd like to word it. So I could actually put my name on a work of art. Indeed, indeed. I'd love to uh, have you. Uh, I think I'll do that. Probably the first name. and last time <laughs> I ever do. <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds great. What are you going to do after the boy goes on holiday? <laughs> uh, well, the boy will probably be going downstairs. I'll probably be going on a bit of a working holiday myself. In a few days, I'm going to take the... Uh, train, they have this 21 pound seven day fare for the northern Scottish area, sounds terrific, go out to Inverness, Abbey Moor, Isle of Skye, up north of it, drawing board in hand, a pack, and explore Scotland. It's, I mean, this is really one of the most beautiful countries on the planet. Ken Segan, who's this year's International Artist in Residence at Aberdeen Art Gallery, and clearly has an eye for good scenery at least. Then in Shetland, 70 passengers had a bumpy arrival in Lerwick when their ship collided with the quayside as she came into dock. A billowing freshness you can smell. That's from Aberdeen. I bought it at some charity thrift shop. Fleet Minesweepers Floodlight, August 1945, unsigned as to who the photographer was. There you have it. Thank you, Douglas Ness. Hope you're doing well.